Hey, what's up, everybody? It is March 30th, 2020, which means we are ready for TNT today. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and continue on with our little series here of just household items that we are going to be modeling. And I just went into the desk drawer and I pulled out the good old trusty pencil. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. Uh, probably not going to get to the top of this with the eraser and that little sort of metal clasp at the end. But we're going to be focusing here on the end of this and uh, sort of creating that pencil. So we're going to be creating this as an IPT, no assembly in this case. So keep that in mind as we're going forward. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Let's create a brand new standard inch IPT. And let's go out there and create. Let's start a 2D sketch and we're going to go ahead and just pick on a work plane to start with and let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is coming out going to Polygon, starting this from the origin. And when I go into Polygon, we can see that there are two different ways of doing this. We can do this as inscribed or circumscribed. We're going to go ahead with circumscribed and we're going to be creating this as a six sided polygon or what we refer to as a hexagon. I'm now going to come out here, go to dimension. I'm going to dimension across the flats here, and I'm going to go ahead and just put in my dimension of a quarter of an inch and finish the sketch. I'm now going to come out here and go ahead and start my extrusion. And taking a look here at the actual pencil, the true pencil length on this is about six and three quarters. So let's just go ahead and just pop in 6.75 and hit enter. Okay, and basically we have sort of the wood casing sort of already established. Now, at the end of this, we're going to have to go and bring this to a point. So every time we put this into a pencil sharpener, uh, we're basically going to be doing uh, what we're about ready to do here in Revolve. But in order to do this, here's what you're going to have to do. I'm just going to just zoom right in here. I'm going to go to Plane. And when I pick on Plane, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be picking on an edge here and then picking on the edge that is completely across from it, like so. So now we have that work plane. It's going diagonal. It's going from corner to corner. Okay, just like so. I'm going to start a 2D sketch on that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to the end. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go ahead and slice graphics. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go ahead now and just draw a line. And we're going to take that line from point to point. And when I do that, all right, what I'm going to be able to do is draw a line now starting from the midpoint. I'm just going to go ahead and just kick this over, keep it totally horizontal. I'm going to send that over about three quarters of an inch. Okay, from there, I'm going to take this up here to the top and find that intersection. All right, and now I can take this back to this point. All right, so once I have that done, this is going to be a little bit of sloppy bad CAD, but I don't care. I'm going to go ahead and just draw this profile out here like so and bring this back here to my midpoint from which I started. All right, it's going out and around, all right, and I'm coming back. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do a finish sketch. I'm going to go ahead and do a revolve. I want this to be my profile, my red arrow for my axis. I'm going to go ahead and find that horizontal line from earlier. So when we do the revolve, this is going to look really, really goofy, but this is an additive revolve. Well, what I want to do is a subtractive revolve like so. And once I do that, I hit OK, and now we can see that that pencil has been sharpened. All right, so looking ahead, we're going to go out there and we're going to apply um, on, on these different surfaces. We're going to apply different colors. And we're going to make it look like a pencil. Like I said, once again, this is not an assembly. All right, we're just going to go ahead and just focus on part creation. So let's go out there and let's establish the graphite point on the end of this. So in order to do that, I'm going to start a 2D sketch. I'm going to pick on the same work plane that we used earlier. I'm going to come down here to the end. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go ahead and slice graphics. I'm going to use project geometry. I'm going to project that out. And now what I'm going to do is use offset. I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to put this a very, very small distance. So like 0.001, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. All right, and I'm going to zoom way in here. All right, and this is what it's going to look like. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just draw a line. OK, I'm going to go ahead and keep this horizontal like so. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just draw a line from here that point, I'm going to bring this over, keep it totally horizontal. And now what I'm going to do is use extend. I'm going to swing this down and I'm going to go ahead and just trim this out. All right. So that's been done. All right. So I know that this is going to be about an eighth of an inch in the graphite at the end. So I can go ahead and draw a vertical line up. I can use offset. I can grab this line, bring this over. I'm going to say that's going to be at 0.125. Okay. And then now what I can do is go ahead and um, what I'm going to do is use extend and I'm going to extend this up and make sure it goes all the way out to that line that I offset earlier. I can now go ahead and do a trim on that. 
And then what I'm gonna do to finish this up is I'm gonna draw a line starting here from the point, like so. And I'm gonna take this all the way up here to that intersection. All right, I can go ahead and trim that out. Okay, so I basically have what I want. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the sketch. I'm now gonna go ahead and do a revolve. I'm gonna sneak way in here and make sure that's the profile I'm picking. I'm gonna use a red arrow for axis and I'm gonna use that line to revolve uh, around. That's gonna be my axis. I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. All right, so we basically have everything that we need. I'm gonna go ahead and just shut down a work plane here so we can sort of focus on what it is we're doing. So most pencils are yellow. So I'm gonna come up here to my color override. I'm gonna come down here, find yellow and apply yellow to it. I'm now gonna go ahead and pick on this surface and I'm gonna come up here to my override and I'm gonna come in here and you know pick on like birch. That'll work great. And now I can pick on this surface. I can come up here and go out there and find black and apply the black to it. And there you go, just that quick. We have just your standard wood case pencil drawn as an IPT, uh, but it's uh, some really good modeling experience there, especially with that revolve. A lot of people don't think about putting that work plane in diagonally to get that uh, that revolve, but works great. So there you go. That's it for today's TNT Today. I'll see you soon.